In this episode, we're unraveling the mystery and magic of Xiaoliuqiao, or Lambai Island, the secret jewel of Taiwan. Xiaoliuqiao is a hidden fairy tale, and the flavors here are as eccentric as the tales themselves. And today, my friends, we're dragging Liuqiao Island out of obscurity and into the harsh light of your screen. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button because you're in for a hidden gem that's been off the radar for far too long. Today, we're in Donggan Port. Uh, we're going to Xiaoliuqiu, which is an island off the south coast of Taiwan. We're taking a ferry there and it's going to take about 20 minutes. I heard it's a really rough ride, but it's going to be a very fun adventure. We're going to stay there for two days and we're going to show you around. We're en route to the lovely island Xiaoliuqiu. The only way to get to Xiaoliuqiu is by taking a ferry from Donggang Ferry Harbor in Kaohsiung. So we are here on Xiaoliuqiu. We rented a scooter and then we took it all the way to the other side of the island to Geban Bay or Venice Beach in Xiaoliuqiu, not in California. And it's beautiful here. Oh my god, that guy's climbing a rock. It's beautiful here. There's no one on this bay. The water is crystal clear. It just looks like one of those beaches off of a magazine. We are at Venice Bay, Gambai Beach. <laughs> Gambai. Gambai. This beach. The water is warm. It's like bath water and there's barely anyone here. Sea urchins on the floor. And this is like easily one of my top five favorite beaches ever and we have the mountains behind us. So it's green mountains and blue ocean together. It's just perfect. <laughs> the best. Just found this really cool viewpoint right above where we're camping out. You can just see everything from here. Boop. Welcome to my humble abode. Secret to get away, this is where I sleep. This is NTD Cribs. One of the best beaches I've ever been to. The water's so blue. You can find sea urchins on the floor for dinner. I'm just kidding. Guys, guys, I don't know where we are, but we're trekking in this undiscovered cave system. And oh my God, it's so scary. Oh, finally the light, the light. Woo! That was so rough, so scary. Look. How amazing. This is amazing. I live here from now on. So this is a secret cove that we found. If you want to get here, you go down the steps from the beach and it's on the far right side. You have to walk through some rocks for about 100 meters. This is like the furthest one. <laughs> So coming to the beach, there's some vendors on the side selling snacks and some water toys like snorkeling here. Walk up the stairs and park your car or motorcycle. A small number of black slaves who had been freed took up residence in this cave. I'm not racist, it's true. There are local whispers about Black Devil Cave hinting at a dark tale. A refugee for black slaves who fled only to meet a tragic fate at the hands of the Dutch. But scary stories aren't on our agenda today. The beauty of this island? Its charm lies in its close-knit wonders, making exploration a breeze. Here we are, stumbling upon the cutest of cafes while en route to the next beach. We've come across this really cute cafe on the seaside. This is the name. There's this beautiful view. They have this hut and this balcony all around the hut. This fireworks. God damn it. They have a lot of drinks and ice cream and uh, some beers. This is just yuzu and sparkling water. Just two minutes on our trusty moped and voila, our next stop, Secret Beach. Well, maybe not so secret anymore. 
friends, we are here at Secret Beach, a five minute drive from the other beach. This one is just as beautiful. There's a small opening where you can go out and swim or scuba or snorkel. And it's very clear water. We just saw a sea turtle swimming towards the shore. You can rent some scuba gear and all those other equipments that you need back there at that shop. Secret Beach. So we're still at Secret Beach. We came up to grab some coffee or drinks. We came to this shop. There's a bar and he has a freezer full of beer and other drinks. Nice old man. It's right next to the opening of Secret Beach. And we got these. This is only on Xiaoyu Cheer specific beers for this island. It's called Captain Beer. They're so cute. It's like, it's like a whole map of the island. This one's peach, and this one is mingo. Wait, they're different. There's like scuba divers. It's amazing. Vira is very good here. As the sun sets on Shaolio Cho, we're venturing to a local barbecue spot. From upscale joints to local gems, the island offers a feast for every palate. Hola, hello friends. It's dinner time, and we're at a barbecue spot. It's usually very poppin', but it's a Monday night, so it's, it's just us. Literally just us two. It's all you can eat barbecue, seafood and meat for two hours. So I'm gonna show you around. There's a lot of meat, there's lemon slices, there's tortilla, there's like fish tails, oh there's blood sausage, razor clamps. This is level one. We're gonna start at level one and then work our way up to level six. Level six is gonna be like crazy stuff. Anyways, level one, just meat and some veggies. Nothing too crazy, you know? I'm gonna put some on the grill. It's charcoal grill. Mmm, that's really good. It really doesn't need any sauce because the charcoal flavor is so strong. It's really good. Mmm, really good barbecue. Today, friends, I'm eating like a local. So they have regular meat in the cases and then they also have some weird stuff that the locals eat. To me, weird, okay. Blood sausage, Taiwanese blood sausage. It's like rock hard. You can like hit someone on the head with this. We have the snail, chicken heart, mystery sausage, and our razor clam. You're squirting on my oyster. Chicken heart, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. Oh God, there's this thing poking out of it. The juices are squirting as I bite into it. You know, it's not bad. I just don't like the liver taste. This is blood sausage. Lots of Taiwanese people love to eat this, but I, I, I personally, I don't like it. It tastes like like grilled mochi. If you don't have it in your mind that it's made out of curdled blood, then it's, it, it tastes okay actually. It's very chewy and seafoody. Your eyes are watering. <laughs> it's not bad, but it just really tastes like salt water from the ocean. Yep, just like that. It's livery and there's like bits of sand in it. It might be good with some lemon on it. Wait, if it doesn't open on its own, doesn't that mean it's bad? Salt. 
It tasted like it was bad. I really like DIY cooking stuff like barbecue or hot pot. This is perfect, it's outside so it's cold air in the winter and they're using charcoal grill so it tastes extra good. It was around 400 per person for two hours of all you can eat. I had an actual enjoyable experience here. After dinner, I find myself at a crossroad. Dessert or despair? Opting for survival, we're tracking down classic Taiwanese mango shaved ice and croffles. We've come to eat shaved ice. They have a bunch of different kinds. Some with three kinds of fruit, some with pudding, some with jam. But Taiwan is known for their mango shaved ice, so we got mango shaved ice. And it's right in the busy street. It's a big ice shop, you're not going to miss it. This is mango ice with vanilla ice cream. Creamy, mango and vanilla go really well together. It's like fresh fruit. Mm. It's a croffle. Some biscuit and caramel and cream. This one is Oreo. very fluffy on the inside and crispy on the outside. And this cream is so good. The shop lady told me that the cream would be the best. Mmm. Mmm. The cream is very light. Light and flavored. There's biscuit crumbled all over the croffle. And the croffle itself is warm and toasty on the inside and crispy on the outside. This cream is different. It just tastes like normal whipped cream with Oreo crumbles on top and chocolate drizzle. But the cream is different from this one. So we came here for one dessert and we ended up with three desserts. <laughs> Whole shaped ice, mango and vanilla ice cream was 200 yen. So that's this much. And then two croffles, 160 yen, which is this much. Both desserts are totally worth it. <gasps> Cockroach! It's a new day on Xiaoliu Cho. First stop, a cafe for mandatory morning coffee because facing the day without caffeine is a risk I'm unwilling to take. Good morning, friends! Today we're at Island Islet, Islet Lemonade Cafe. Ding! It's a bit hard to get to. You have to turn in this alleyway and then turn in another alleyway. But there's signs all over. And it's a really cute cafe. It's two stories, very open. Glass windows everywhere. And they make coffee. They have alcoholic drinks and they have dessert. We got the tea-styled coffee, which is what they're known for, or what their specialty is. One is plum coffee. And the other one is winter melon coffee. Isn't that crazy? Looks so good. I'm gonna try the winter melon first because it's my favorite. It tastes like fruit juice combined with coffee, but in the best way possible. I've never had this anywhere else but Taiwan. They really love to mix tea into their other drinks. And the foam on top is really creamy. It's good. I like it. Next is the plum coffee. Oh, no. It's good. It's sour. I don't like plum flavored stuff, but my husband's really gonna like this one. Oh, so sour. Sour and sweet. Now you try. This cafe is super, super cute. We have to walk down this path to find it. But other than that, great cafe to come by at Xiaoliu Cho. Friends, we are at Song... What is it called? We're at Songkao Beach. It's right next to the harbor where you get off the boat on Xiaoliu Cho. So we were apprehensive about coming here because it's so close to the harbor. 
Actually, it's beautiful. The water is so blue and there's practically no one here, just one snorkeling group. Maybe because it's the weekday, but it seems like all the beaches on Shaolio Cho are empty. This one is beautiful. We haven't seen any sea life yet. It's aqua and there's no one here. It seems like the perfect beach for swimming and relaxing. We find ourselves at Song Ao Beach, nestled in Bai San Village just east of the main harbor. This expansive stretch of sand is likely the largest on Xiaoliu Chou. Voila! We're here at Vase Rock. You can see it's more popular, it's a tourist attraction. It's not really a beach for swimming or laying out because it's so small, but you can definitely walk around, find cute little coral rocks and look at the sea life inside of the coral. There's a few stalls up ahead selling some food and some water gear and plushies. Souvenirs, quite beautiful place. Vase Rock is one of the most famous attractions of Liuqiu. As the name hints, the coral reef has been shaped to resemble a vase. Friends, this beautiful, beautiful beach behind me is called Beauty Beach. Uh, you get to the ticket booth and you just walk down this pathway all the way down to the shore. Behind the ticket booth is Beauty Cave. You can venture along the cave side, but we're gonna go down to the beach and show you around. This seems like a drop-off point for scuba divers and snorkelers. I see a bunch of groups down here. Not really a beach to lay out because the sand looks like pebbles. Come. Beauty Beach. It's beautiful. I can see why they call it Beauty Beach. Barely anyone here. Shore is very small. Coral reef everywhere. I can see why Xiaoliuqiu is not a surfing island because all of the shorelines are filled with coral. But I love it like that, it's so pretty. I wanna live here. It's pretty in here. There's so many tiny tidal pools with creatures living inside. There's crab and fishies. I love beaches like this where there's so much to explore. Easily top five beaches I've ever been to. Did I say that about the last one? <laughs> After a day of beachside naps, our weary bodies are now demanding sustenance. To satisfy our post-beach cravings, we're rolling the dice and headed to Carpe Diem. <laughs> Friends, we're at a local burger shop. I know what you're gonna think. Oh my god, burgers on Xiaoliuqiu? But listen, a local obasan is making it, so it's different. Anyways, we ordered the fish burger and the spicy chef sauce burger, and we're gonna show you how it is. Wax gourd juice or donggua cha. So good. Light sweetness, full winter melon flavor. Fish burger, charcoal burger bun. I'm gonna pick it up for you like this. Oh, it's huge. Look at that. Two fish patties. Oh, it's crunchy burger. Mmm. Really crispy fish patties, mayonnaise, lots of cheese, lettuce. The bread is very, very crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Pretty good burger, I like it. This one is the Chef's Spicy Sauce Burger. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> the spicy sauce is down here, you can see it. It's pretty spicy. Patty is juicy. I like this burger a lot. Mmm. So much spice in here. So we ordered two burgers, one fry and one drink, and it came out to be 420. The shop lady was so nice and so friendly. As we waddle out of Carpe Diem with our belts loosened and dignity slightly diminished, our dessert expedition leads us to a Taiwanese delight, shaved ice. We're at a 
an ice shop called Laija Snow Ice. And it's right around the corner from the burger shop. They look very photogenic and there's so many different options. There's tea, there's fruit, there's chocolate. Anyways, we ordered two and I'm going to show you what we ordered in just a sec. This is papaya milk shaved ice, papaya milk snow as the base, condensed milk and cornflakes. And then they gave us popa and pudding. Oh, the Bad, bad pudding. Bad pudding. Oh, huh. This one is Milo chocolate shaved ice with cream on top. I want you to look at the other side. The other side, it's dripping. You see the cream is like falling off right here. They gave us cornflakes and boba as uh, the toppings on the side. I like how they give it to you on the side, so if you don't really like it, you don't have to eat it. Exactly like papaya milk. I'm gonna try some pudding. And some of this. Mm. Pudding is so good with the ice. This has to be one of the best shaved ice I've ever had. It's so milky and soft. And the crunch from the cornflakes is so good. It's like sweet but not too sweet. The pudding tastes so good with it. I'm gonna try it with boba now. and then the cornflakes are crunchy. There's like all spectrums of texture in my mouth right now. I'm gonna try it by itself first. Some cream. The shaved ice is just like, tastes like Milo shaved ice. Creamy and chocolatey. And the chocolate on top is like, like a lava flow of cream. I'm gonna try it with some cornflakes and some boba. Grab some right here. Oh. Wow, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. They like mastered shaved ice. The texture of the boba and the cornflakes together, match made in heaven. It's not too chewy and it's not too crunchy. It's like both at the same time. And this cream on top is just so fluffy. It goes really well with the really cold shaved ice. Mmm. It's a little bit salty too. Kind of like salted caramel or salted coffee. Mm -hmm. Very good. Overall, the ice here is so yummy. It was about $1.80 for each, so total price is here. I really, really enjoyed this ice place. Let me know in the comments down below if you would enjoy it too. It's sunset on Shaolio Cho and we've decided to spend it at Gaban Beach. And it seems like a lot of other people have decided to spend it here too. Good way to end off the day. Lots of groups of people are here, more than during the day actually. You can see Donggang in Taiwan, not too far away from here. After sunset, we're hitting one of Taiwan's most unique beach bars, offering a seat right on the sand. Friends, we've come to this bar at the south side of Xiaoliao Chiu. This is the name. The view is beautiful. It's beautifully decorated, kind of like Bali vibes. Sand and you're sitting on the floor with pillows and there's fairy lights and palm trees everywhere. You have this beautiful view in the back and in the front. We ordered some drinks. They have a bunch of drinks on the menu and some appetizers and food. We'll show you what drinks we ordered and we'll start from there. I ordered Black Devil Cave, Black Devil Cave drink. On their menu, their specialty cocktails are all named after local spots. So this is Black Devil Cave. This is Wild Boar Ditch. It's like hiking trail that we, we didn't even go on. But the, this one looks like it's cucumber slices. Oh, you see rosemary right here and sweet apple. Oh. The taste of green sweet apple really comes out, but it's very, uh, very strong. This one is Black Devil Cave. 
It has coffee and cherry. I don't know how they make that work, but I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> it's really strong. It tastes like straight up whiskey with some coffee cream on top. It's interesting and it's, it's I mean, it's for you if you like really strong whiskey taste. Like At this bar, you can order shishas. Milk bubbles, hookah bubbles. Not only that, we ordered this lemon beer bomb. We're not freaking sponsored, okay, so. This lemon beer bomb, you know what it is. Let me just try it. Mm, the lemon goes great with this beer. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? The cats legit just munching on their salad, like, they don't even care. really novelty. I've never thought that small island of Shaliocho would have something like this. Sea days. Sea days is the lounge area to go to when you're in Shaliocho. I had such a great experience here. The people working here are nice. The servers are nice. The atmosphere is nice. You get to see the sunset here. It's right at the bay, so you get whole sunset view. Overall, like a very satisfying experience. 10 out of 10. <laughs> After the beach bar, we're on a mission for late night munchies at a food truck meets picnic spot, serving up rolls that give Taco Bell a run for its money. Friends, it's dinner time and we've come to my roll. It's a little food truck on the tip of the island and they serve like rolls of chicken and parmesan. And we also got this plum drink where you just pop it off like a can, like one of those one-shot sake glasses. Atmosphere is really cute. It's like picnic style, so some people are sitting on the floor, just like a blanket. Anyways, we got the crispy chicken parmesan combo and we'll show you how it is. I don't know if we've been getting lucky or if this is just like the atmosphere around the island, but every little stop that we've been making is really cute. Some of them have really good ambient music. A lot of them are outside and food has been great. It's very good. I'm very happy. This one is cuttlefish balls. Hot. Mmm. Mmm. Cuttlefish is like deep fried, very salty, good flavoring. Inside is steaming hot. It has omegas. Cats. I love them. So this is chicken parm roll. It's very crispy. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? This is what you expect it would be. Very cheesy. It's like a quesadilla and a panini combined. I made a baby and this is what came out of it. It's cheesy, there's some spice to it. Chicken and sauce inside. Oh, it's dripping too. I wouldn't have expected this on this tiny little island. Mmm. I'd pick this over Taco Bell any day. Just saying. So this place is a really cute place to stop by for a quick bite. I really like the outside seating and the rolls are really good. I love how it's crispy on the outside. They have a bunch of different item menus as well. 9.6 out of 10. As we wrap up our journey from beach bars to quesadilla quests, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Xiaoyo Cho. If you're still standing and not in a food coma, consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more adventures.